Okay, here's another one, a uh, common Trello use case video in five minutes or less. This one is the uh, daily habits and goal tracker board. So I actually, this is a templated board, but I have a very similar one that I use literally every day. Um, it's really helpful for annual planning, um, but also weekly review and just making sure you're reaching your goals and you know regularly improving. So here's a quick walkthrough on how this board works and how you can use it to um, create this board. You have you know various lists here. I have you know what I call a table of contents, a backlog to do, doing and done. You might notice this looks a lot like the Kanban board we made. Um, and then this was a daily journal sort of thing. I don't actively do this anymore, but for a while I found it really helpful to journal here in Trello. And then this was just a list for any new ideas that come in through here. So the way it works is at the beginning of the year, I create some goals and list out um, all of my goals in here. And you can either attach a file or list them in line here. And I like to read through them every week. Uh, or at least, yeah, that's typically what I, I sort of aim to do. Um, I would have some Upcoming dates in here, uh, this was before we had card covers actually. So now I could easily make this a uh, title card just like this if I wanted to. Um, looks a lot nicer than having title there. So uh, that's pretty cool. And I just keep track of any you know specific details I have there. I also here have, um, you know, this is all the things that I may want to do for the year. So when I make my goals, there's usually specific sort of projects or things that I want to work on. So I put those in here. Um, this is more used on a weekly basis of, you know, here's what I want to work on this week. And when I'm done with it, I move it over to doing or sorry, when I'm done with it, I move it over to done. But while it's in process, I move it to doing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I also would have monthly checklist and I use Butler automation to make this pop up where every month it creates a card with a specific checklist of things that I need to do throughout that month. Um, same thing for the week. Every week there's a specific uh, card that pops up with things that I need to do every week. Um, those are habits that I want to build um, or, you know, just specific like tasks, like make sure to clean my sheets or, or things like that. So at the end of the week, I, you know, hopefully have done everything here. I clean out all of my cards and done and, um, you know, we'll sometimes kind of reflect on what I've got going on. And that's how those lists work. And then for the daily journal one, um, it was the same sort of thing as like a monthly versus a uh, weekly card. I still have different uh, a card that creates itself every day with a checklist of things to do. And I use it as a journal to sort of write down different things I worked on. Uh, you can see I added custom fields to log very specific things like writing down something I'm thankful for or my mood or something I'm looking forward to or how much water I drank. And I'm able to, you know, check off all of my habits as I go. So I'm going to save it for a more advanced video on how to use Butler automation to create all of those pieces. Um, if you want to keep it simple, you can just use the card repeater power up, which is what I used before Butler. And that's a power up you can, you know, just easily add on here. Um, and you can basically say, hey, take this card that I'm saying and or th take this card that I've enabled and link this on and repeat it on these days and tell me where to put it. And then it's right there ready for you. So um, feel free to do that if you're not quite ready to tackle Butler automation. But um, yeah, this is a Super powerful board um, that I really like to do, uh, like to use on a daily basis. And there's lots of uh, cool stuff you can do with it. And it's helpful for, you know, using labels to keep track of how, how they relate to my goals. And I make sure that something doesn't go on here unless it fits in a label, because if it doesn't have a label, then it means it's probably not related to one of my priorities. So that was kind of a, a nice way to uh, set that up. So feel free to grab this and customize it for your use.